Oh, it's Cobalt. Where the fuck have you been? It's been two days. I got this goddamn mainframe in here, and ever since you left, I've for the past two days I've had guards hovering around this place and they're asking fucking questions. Shit, look. Calm down. I got delayed. Rooster found me in Freddy, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. A clone? Yeah. As it turns out, the Circle was looking for me for recruitment to basically be their IT guy and their hardware caretaker, you know, basically. Oh, that's sweet. Are you gonna do it? I... I really don't know. I just know I got stuck with him because an LN destruction unit caught up to us. The comm op, Captain Van Nikus, and the comm op's daughter show up out of nowhere, and then they invite me to stay with him. It's been a weird fucking day. You sure shit better have said yes. Shit's been crazy around here. There's elevated patrols and the billboards are all blaring your names 24-7. Well, of course, for now I said yes. But I need you to relax, okay? I'm safe for now. I'm gonna have Freddy swing by, he's gonna pick up the mainframe. And then, I'll try to meet up with him soon. See what we can do. Oh, thank fuck. Alright, I'll be on the lookout. And he better be here fucking soon! End complete. I'll be back in three days, Detritus. Don't mess with the main friend, Detritus. Freddy's on the way, Detritus. Christ, I need to avoid all this shit. Too much going on. The mechanical Please stay indoors and wait. Oh, you really fucked up this time, Lunger. Oh, I better get this new inventory sorted. Welcome, value customer. Welcome to Deets. We got macro line replacements, brute force hacking cards, and I jack dummies. Joseph Merlis, 8006732502250. We need any and all information on Jacob Lopez, LN Quad 08221, and two strays. One known as Free Boy, the other known as Wayland Heldrath. Like I told you yesterday, I don't know where they are. Now come on, I'm trying to work here. Need I remind you that failure to assist the Industrian Urban Guard will result in your incarceration, provoking of any and all ration privileges and- Shut your fucking mouth. Do you know where you are? This is the Black Market Mod Shop in Losec. You can't revoke me or limit my access anywhere fucking further. Well, we could just kill you and call it in as an attack. We'll come down on your bloodline, demolish your shop. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. Look, one, I don't have a bloodline. Two, I have no idea what Cobalt or Freddy are, okay? And three, even if I did, do you really think I was gonna tell you? You okay up here, boss? Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just these goddamn guards harassing us again. Say, how old are you boys? What? Jeez, it's always the simple questions. I asked, how old are you? I'm 25 and he's 32. And I'm to assume you got all your standard issue augmentations? Of course we do. Why? Oh, no reason in particular. Computer, trespasser protocol. Lockdown protocol activated. One moment, please. I wouldn't make any sudden movements if I were you guys. Uh, uh, uh sick con, we need. Lockdown protocol disengaged. <laughs> Thank you for the distraction. Now, can you be a lamb and restock the mock ration cards I just got in? Thank you. Well, they sure made a mess. Yeah, sure thing, Deep. You got it up here? Oh, wait, wait, you mean this? This is nothing, Wayland. Now, go ahead and take those bodies and put them in the surgical bay. We don't want them going to waste. I mean, what? They're worth at least 2k for each cadaver, plus Halcyon grade mods? I mean, that's at least, what, another 6k for the mods alone? <laughs> Only you would think of that, boss. Well, that is why they call me Detritus. Morons seem to forget that most foot patrol go missing out this far into low sec. And it's usually because of me. Now, Gash, Waylon, whatever it is you go by, can you hand me that code burner? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, you can call me Waylon. The GIC started that Gash alias bullshit. Should we take this to the back? Burning those ID codes off the corpses always smells up the joint. Nah, it's fine. I'll lock the place down. No, actually, can you turn off the vents too? Sure thing. Hey, thanks, kid. All right, seeing as how we got two fresh donors here, I'll give you first crack at their blood. You're about due for an oil change, ain't you? What, you're like a quart low or something? Yeah, I think it's about that time. Uh, I need to purge my system first. Got a spare unit? Feel free. I cleaned out the purge unit this morning. 
You aren't the only LN using that unit either. The MGIC won't provide basic services for LNs like you, so someone's got to do it. And free of charge? It's really amazing of you to do that. Dialysis line detached. Please connect leads to purge hematic waste. Lucis Naturi detected. Hematokinetic. Class 08. Purge hematic excess due to polycythemia vera. Proceed. Oh, Jimmy, Jesus Christ, kid. It never ceases to amaze me how you blood throwers can live through something like that. I mean, blood actually going bad, needing tune-ups like a fucking old transport or something? It's called being hematokinetic and just plain being ill, but with no need for macro. I'm a weird case. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Sorry, kid. Excuse me. I can never get that right. Yeah, I got lucky. Sure, I got two elements working against me, but at least you were able to fit me with that blue guard kit. Really helps me with the excess buildup. These damn things are rare and expensive, but better than leaving a trail, you know? Oh, don't mention it. Just wish the job was- Oh, jeez. Just wish the job was more glamorous, but this is where the money is. Can you come over here and give me a hand with these damn bodies? They're heavy sons of bitches. Shop, lockdown. Alright, uh, so uh, take your pick and drain them. Take the younger one. Let's see here. Blood replacement initiated. Please connect lines to host. Host detected. Blood type B negative detected. Proceed with replacement. Proceed. Replacing blood. Please stand by. Perfect. Now go ahead and strip them. I have to get these damn organs out within the hour. The augmentations need to be sorted and cleaned. I mean, they're standard issue Halcyon tech, so it's all the same no matter who they're plugged into. Where did you learn all of this, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I'm, I'm self-taught, really. And this place used to be on my parents, but they were murdered years ago by the GIC. Ended up having to jump from holding camp to holding camp from the time I was three until I hit 14. Hey, uh, hand me that rib splitter. Got it. So, what happened at 14? Well... <clears throat> Damn. This one must have had reconstructive surgery at some point in his life. Goddamn polymer ribs. Anyway, I ended up killing a guard in Medsec over a little ration issue. Son of a bitch wouldn't fill my card. Back then, I followed the law to a T. I was on my own trying to stay low. I went to a ration center, went to get loaded from the, for the month. You know. So anyway, the prick thought it was funny since I'm a human and considered an oppressor, as it were. And I was trying to get my rations. So it started verbally at first, and then he took it a little bit farther, and then I pulled the gun on him and blew him away. Did some more running after that. Was able to save him up some paper and open a shop. I vaguely remember my dad's business was a bit fucked. Just took it to the next level is all. What brings you this far into the low sec? Hell, sounds like you had it coming. Sorry about your folks, though. I was always on the run from prime to prime, sector to sector. Uh, very hard to find blood replacements when you're astray. I end up getting into it with guards back home and- Hey, hand me that container. No, the other one. The other one. No, the other one. It's square. It says cardiac unit. Ah, here you go. Thank you. One human heart detected. Sealing unit for storage. So, uh, where's home? Sector 8-3, Industria Gamma. Been a long time since I've been back there. The guard and the townsfolk basically ran me out. A lot of weird religious folks down there these days. They thought I was some kind of demon or some shit. Whoa, fuck me, you from Sinner's Rest? My buddy Cobalt used to say that was, what, Vegas back in the day? The city of sin, gambling, prostitution, a lot of crime back in the old days. You know, the finer things in life. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always heard. Of course, I was born in 2015, so I wouldn't know... Well, at least none of that changed by the time I got older and had to take off. Blood replacement complete. New blood type registered as B-negative. New hematic cycle, five days until replacement. Five days? That's gotta be a record. Uh, whatever. I'll drain this guy for you as well. Consider him a bonus. That sounded pretty close. Yeah. That was about a block away. Hey, hand me my shotgun.
When you need the protection from the mutants, Halcyon built a wall. When you were put to need the sterile supplies, Halcyon built a factory. Excuse me. Wait! What's going on? It's the MGU. They just showed up in full force. Full force? You're joking! Kid, take it easy. That just means that it's a squadron. That's six of them. And an LN commander. I can hardly take on maybe one? Much less seven. Seven? I mean, look at me. Come on. I can take at least... Well, actually, I can't take any. Just a human with a limp. Now we need to defend the shop, though. Got too much in there. Makes sense. Shopkeeper, put down your weapon. Hey, 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 come on. I'm just protecting my shop in case any of these straight fucks want to start looting. Then do so from inside. Get off the street. He's just standing here, sir. This is his livelihood. Hey, hey, you. Yeah, you. Don't act like you don't see me. You, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stay the fuck away from my shop. I'm not going to give you another warning. Civilian, stand down. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. And this is small scale because my two buddies don't know when to keep their goddamn noses out of other people's business. Just keep an eye open. If you can feel someone's blood too close, let me know. I'm on it. I'm trying to fill out the crowd. These people are pissed. Not with no green lens, just a handful of humans. I think they're sensitive commander. Oh, that blood is heated. Whoever they are, they're just out to kill. Well, I mean, between Cobalt and Freddy's shit, those GIC officials going AWOL, I mean, the gods are just gonna go out and make examples out of people, human or Ellen. It's definitely gonna get bad. Better make a call. You have a plan, sir? Uh, well, not a plan so much as a contingency. It owes me a couple of favors. Actually, you two might get along. Oh, another hematic kinetic? Well, uh, not exactly. She deals in a lot of blood, though. She's a stray like you. Yeah, at least I'll be in good company then. <laughs> no, no, no. She hates everybody. I mean, she trusts no one. She'd be more inclined to kill us on sight than to help me. What the hell kind of company do you keep, Deed? Uh, the kind with no kill orders from Dr. Hadrian Cross himself. Let's hope this old ass com port works. No kill order? She must be rare. Kid, you have no idea. Initiating standby. Encrypted com feed established. Uh, hello? Uh, hey, Katya, it's, uh, it's me, D. Wait, 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 hey, what the, is that an accent? She's an elder, shut up before she hears you. So, so, Katya, you, uh, you, you in town? I mean, you should, we got a riot brewing in Losec down here, and uh, the MGU squadron is coming down pretty hard. I need help with the shop. You, you could consider this one of three favors paid off. Yeah, well, check this. A few high-priority GIC officials went fucking AWOL. Turns out a clone MGU pilot, Captain Veronikis... Well, yeah. As far as I know, Harley is okay. But their actions are cascading in the low sec. It's gonna make it hard for anyone to move around anymore. Look, I got a vault here with some high-grade shit to protect. I, I, actually, I can pay you. Win, win, win. Oh, oh, actually, right, look, check this. I got a fresh donor here. I don't know his type yet, but I can bottle it for you and store it for you for free. That's what, 12 pints? Six months that you don't have to hunt, and it's in cold storage whenever you need it. Nothing's going to waste on the streets. Oh, thank God. I, I'm, <clears throat> I mean, your terms are acceptable. I'll contact you soon. She sounds intense. Oh, you, mean, you have no idea. Look, sorry about the bonus kit, but you're going to have to hand it over to her. Trust me when I say it was the only way to get her here. It's no problem, but you said six months that she won't have to feed? I did. She also seemed to know a lot about 004 and the sergeant. She did. Well, who the hell is she? <laughs> Not even. I'll let her introduce herself when she gets here. I mean, I can hear it in her voice, man. 
She's ready to take a piece out of the GIC over that AWOL mess going on. She's ready to fight. Is she with the GIC or some shit? Come on, I'm gonna keep asking, Deed. All right, all right, look, grab a seat. Come on. That, my friend, is Katya Morgan. Porphyric hemophiliac. Basically a clinical vampire and the little one's aunt. And besides her father, the last living relative of Harley Reinhardt, and she's fucking pissed. Thank you once again, citizens, for tuning in and listening to TCOIP. I want to thank all of you who have stuck around through this really crazy time, and just all of you who've been listening to the backlogs of what we have already. Um, I see the demographics, and it's just good to know that you're still out there. On a side note, when I wrote the line, like, 2020, baby, I definitely didn't fucking have this in mind. I just want to let you all know that going forward, there will be delays on pretty much all the episodes until things kind of tend to get better. Um, and as you all know from BTS, got a lot of health issues going on, so we're here. Uh, so... We'll continue to work on TCOIP. I'll keep writing episodes. I've already started writing season two. And we're going to just try to see what we can do as far as voice work goes uh, with everyone who happens to have a mic at home. And we'll keep this thing moving. It'll be a slower pace, but hey, I'd rather just everyone be safe. And this includes you. Remember to follow us, subscribe, and spread the word on social media at the Children of Industrial Prime or TCOIP. And you can always follow me on Instagram at TCOIP Cobalt. This podcast is also available on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever the hell you get your podcast now. And if you listen on Apple Podcasts, once again, don't forget to leave us a five-star review. It really does help. And you can still drop us an email, same address, TCOIPcast at gmail.com. And if you want to help us with the podcast, you can ever consider dropping by and donating to TCOIP on Anchor. And also, we still have the Patreon. I mean, no tough times right now, but every little bit, no matter how small or how big, hell, even just sharing helps. Every bit helps. And right now, if you're still on our Patreon, there's not going to be any uh, early access to ad-free episodes right now. Episodes will still be ad-free, just won't be early release. Of course, the show will always be free no matter what platform you listen to. We also have a Redbubble store, still going. Go to redbubble.com slash TCOIP to shop for t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, you name it. We got, Matt went in there and we did an overhaul. We got stuff on everything now. Your support, of course, helps us make more episodes, grab more equipment, software, all the stuff. Just all the shit we need to fight back to GSC. And maybe we can get rid of this fucking COVID business. So once again, thank you for listening, spreading the word. Everybody, please just be safe out there. Now one more time. Obey the guard. Stay ready. Keep your eyes open. See you in... Wait. I don't feel right anymore. Just stay safe out there. Thank you for choosing Halcyon Industrial.